Hello everyone, welcome to a new Cyan Orange review. This time we have a new course from Wingfox, drawing a succubus splash art using Photoshop. This is a short course where N.D. John Hugh shows us his process in creating this beautiful illustration. As the name implies, this course will center around Photoshop and will cover the full demo of the illustration creation process. Before we begin, as usual, let's take a look at who the instructor is. N.G. John Huey is a freelance artist and illustrator based in Singapore, who has worked on amazing titles such as Legends of the Cryptids and Shadowverse. This course has a total of 9 hours of video divided in 8 chapters. Without anything else to add, let's dig in. Alright, let's begin this review by checking out the downloadable content that is included in the course. When we downloaded the project files, we thought the course included the PSD or the JPEG at least of the artwork, and to our surprise, it didn't. The downloadable file only included the brushes, however it did include 4 sets of different types of brushes, so let's check those out then. The first set is called Bad Brushes. And the brushes are what the name implies, bats, in all shapes and quantities. The brush set comes with 50 brushes well organized around this thing. The next brush set is called Stucking Brush, and it is a small pack of 6 brushes. These brushes were pretty neat, used mostly for very specific effects, the instructor most likely used in his painting. Following next, we have the set called Spackle which we think should be named sparkles or particles, as the brushes are mostly for those kinds of effects. The set includes 28 brushes and is more or less organized. Some brushes names are good and give you an idea of what they are, but some brushes don't have a proper name. The final set of brushes is called common use brushes, and they are what you would expect, standard brushes. This pack contains 9 brushes and they are pretty ordinary, nothing to highlight here. As we mentioned before, the course comes with a total of 9 hour video lessons divided into 8 chapters. Let's give you a brief summary of what each chapter is about. Chapter 1 Theory and Intention The first chapter is an introduction chapter where NG shows us the 3 types of artwork he usually does. Graphic design, mural, pinup, and narrative. In this chapter, he talks a lot about the intention of the artwork, and also he gives tips here and there on how he uses composition, lighting, and motion to convey the idea. Chapter 2 Research Gathering. In Chapter 2, ND shows us his reference board and explains the topic of the illustration he will do throughout the course. He guides us through the different types of references he has in this mood board such as pose references, intention, composition, and so. Chapter 3. Thumbnailing The third chapter covers the process of thumbnailing, in other words, composition sketches. N.G. draws a total of 6 thumbnail sketches and refines the 3 he likes best. Then, he eventually chooses the one he will paint. In this chapter, he will voice his thoughts and creative process as he sketches and draws the succubus in various dynamic poses. It is great to see him explore the idea he wants with this painting. He shows us how it's so important to be loose at this point and not jump into details. He insists on how he concentrates on the gesture of the character and the focal point. All in all, a very good chapter, and here the viewers can see how he works on each sketch. Chapter 4 Masking and Value Layout Moving on, in Chapter 4, NG covers the topic about masking and value layout. He gives us some tips on how a clean masking is super important and how at this point the structure phase is finished. He then moves into value layout when he shows us how he starts adding lining to the illustration. He is always voicing out his thoughts as the demo goes on, which is a very good thing in our opinion. He also gives out tips about how to keep the value layout solid, keeping in mind how it is also affecting composition and the mood of the painting. Chapter 5 Material Rendering 
So, now chapter 5. As the name implies, this chapter concentrates on rendering. NG first starts with the rendering of the hair. He gives a full demo on how he brings his hair to life and gives tips on how to use certain blending modes, such as color dodge, to do so. The second lesson is about rendering the skin, which is actually a chapter that was done before the hair one, but the order here doesn't really matter, so everything is good so far. In the next lesson, he covers how he works some fabrics of her outfit until he eventually covers all the elements of the illustration. All in all, a very detailed demo that goes deeply into each topic, giving useful ore tips along the way. This again feels like a workshop, going in deep with each topic while also providing useful information, but the good thing here is that everything is recorded. At the end of this chapter, Andy focuses on adding accessories to the character, such as the neck piece, jewelry, and so. Following next, we have a chapter dedicated to lining. First, NG starts working on the background, a very important element of the illustration that would also help him set up the lining of the character and the mood of the overall piece. He works on the tail and the secondary elements of his illustration as he gives us very good tips on composition and lining. Chapter 7, Advanced Detailing. Chapter 7 now centers on detailing and finalizing the illustration. In this chapter, the lecturer goes in deeper with the rendering of the hair, the face, and other elements to highlight even more the focal points of the illustration. A great chapter to see how ND finalizes his work by using a specific reference for the face and so. And finally, we have chapter 8, Subtle BFX. This chapter is all about final adjustments, subtle changes using adjustment layers in Liquify, and so. The artwork is stunning, and NG even animates it to make it look even more awesome. Here it is. So as usual, for those who don't want to watch the full video, we will summarize what we thought of the course in both pros and cons. Here we go. The video and sound quality are good. The voice quality is okay, but beware of its pronunciation. For those who are picky with this, we will leave a sample of his voice here so you can judge it for yourselves. A piece of blank canvas. So a shape that you change can <clears throat> look or represent different things. So we have some flow right here. Look at the the wing, the the bats, uh, its position. Uh, previously, uh, because we can, uh, there's many ways to bring it back. Uh, bring back the gloss later on, and also fill up the empty space with the skin be be below it. And there's many ways. One of the ways that we can uh, just copy the part with the gloss and then just shift it upwards like that. that that way we can still get the gloss if we can still get the form here uh, that looks the same it comes with various sets of brushes that are well organized and named no time limit to watch the course you can take your time and watch this course no time limits to access it this course contains an incredible extensive demo on a semi-realistic approach to character illustration. The lecturer uses Photoshop, so users who use the software will learn even more from the course. The course is well organized and well structured. The chapters are well labeled and the order of the content is good. Excellent price for the course. The course is actually very cheap in our opinion. Even if this course doesn't include the PSD file, it is a great deal. It doesn't work on Opera browser. <laughs> yeah, we're getting tired of telling this in our videos, but yes, it is a bad thing. It should work on any browser, so please, Wayne Fox, fix this. The course needs subtitles. Once again, beware of his pronunciation. We did miss subtitles in this course. WinFox should include subtitles to artists who are not native English speakers. It is so important. It doesn't have the PSD file of the illustration. 
Yeah, this was weird. Having the file is very important, and we were surprised it didn't include it. Alright, at last we have reached the end of this review. Do we recommend this course? Yes! This score feels once again like a workshop. You will enjoy an extensive demo on how he brings this succubus to life in a beautiful illustration. Things to beware of the course in general, even though the price is excellent, keep in mind that it doesn't include the PSD of the illustration, you will only get the brushes. Also, the course doesn't have subtitles, so you have to deal with the pronunciation of the lecturer. But all in all, an excellent course. Thanks again for joining us in another Cyan Orange review. We will leave in the description below the promo code and the link to the course. Also, remember we have a Patreon. You can support our studio and get exclusive content like comics and illustrations there. Thanks again for watching and we will see you guys in the next episode.